During the time of the Book of Mormon, there were multiple languages spoken. In addition to multiple languages, there were, throughout Mesoamerica, a surprising number of ways of writing. There uh, are increasing numbers of examples of uh, Maya writing in the pre-classic, that is, before the time of Christ uh, in the Maya area. Uh, probably the most famous one is that of Monument 10 from Kaminahuyu. They had just about any kind of book you could think of. Those books were known as codexes, and a few of them still exist. The ability to write was extremely widespread in Mesoamerica. The spoken language, I think, could very well have been changed. It might have still had its basic Hebrew core, as English does. I mean, if we try to read Beowulf, we can't do it because the language has changed so much. I find Amaron's words to Mormon, who was 10 years old at the time, uh, to be interesting. Amaron tells him, I perceive that thou art quick to observe. Uh, the way I read that is that Amaron is telling Mormon, uh, I see that you're a fast learner and that's good because you're gonna have lots of stacks of plates uh, in a couple of different languages and several dialects of the languages and in different stages of change of these languages Good luck. There is one uh, point, however, that's important to recognize, and that is that um, religious language tends to be highly conservative and preserved. Moroni comments about how the characters have changed and how the language has changed. Nephi, at the beginning of the history of the Book of Mormon, and Moroni at the end of the history of the Book of Mormon, about a thousand years apart, would not be able to understand each other. Mormon would probably not have been speaking the same language as Nephi, but he has been instructed in the language and is still able to communicate in it after